when it comes to the government of God, the family of God, the kingdom of God, uh, there's hardly much division there. We have a question that just came in from Charles, who's watching us on YouTube. And Charles, thank you for watching us. And Charles wants to know, why is the church so divided on different interpretations of Scripture, uh, beliefs and baptisms politically, and what can we do about it? It's unfortunate, and if we're to be transparent, it is unfortunate that there's so many different uh, divisions as far as interpretations are concerned. But I've been in ministry long enough to know that when we really sit down to talk, there's really not a whole lot that that divides us. But we've got to understand interpretation is an interesting thing. And we see scripture based upon our backgrounds and we interpret it based upon our value system. So oftentimes you're going to find people that uh, practice a particular thing more so than, than another person who know not we don't necessarily think it's wrong, but we don't give it the same level of importance or emphasis. Oftentimes, the diversity is good because the diversity gives us the holistic view of um, different aspects of the whole body of Christ. The foot gives us the foot story and the neck gives us a neck story and the shoulder gives us a shoulder story. Sure, uh, and, uh, the other thing you gotta be aware that, that there's not everything that named Jesus is authentic. So you gotta weed out some of that. But you know, the Bible said the foundation of the Lord stand of sure. The, having this seal that God knows those that are his. We can have a lot of people in the religious ring, but when it comes to the government of God, the family of God, the kingdom of God, uh, there's hardly much division there. But oftentimes the authenticity is clouded by all the joss and the chatter of religion and tradition. But if we can only for a moment see the body of Christ through God's eyes, we are stronger and more powerful than it appears. And I want to repeat again, and that because not because we, ain't nobody here senile or nothing, but just because it's worthy of repetition, that there is a wind of revival that's blowing across the world that will bring us together in an unprecedented way, a wind of revival. But a lot of that so-called division, it just skin deep. It, it is not blood deep. And we're going to see it as we keep on getting closer to the second coming of Jesus Christ. There's a lot to be grateful for, and there's a lot to rejoice about in the church today. You know, that's one of the most terrific answers I think I've ever heard to that question. And I want to, first of all, thank Charles for, for sending that in. And uh, Dr. Bishop, tremendous answer. I, I, I really appreciate that. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.